Let's look at how to load UVs. Um, there are two reasons I can think of for loading UVs, a new UV map onto an item. Uh, the first one would be maybe I create an alternate UV set. I had this UV set on the shirt. I thought this is pretty good, but I really want to be able to do, I don't know, do something else with it. And so I created a new UV map. To load in a new UV map so that you have two, well, first of all, let's just filter this by UV. And it shows I only have one UV set on here. Uh, if I right click on the surfaces pane, or if I click on the pane options, uh, this will give me a drop down. I can do load UV set and load it in. We'll call it new. Now I have two UV sets available. One is called new and one is called default UVs. You can see the change. All right, so I have this in here. Now what I would actually do to save that UV set, I have two options. I can save my item again. So here I have a shirt. I could save my shirt again and then it would write out both UV sets and then allow me to use either one. But if you're doing a new UV set on a human figure, such as Genesis 2 Female, uh, and it's going with your character or something, then you would not be able to save the figure again. So you would actually go up and do File, Save As, Support Asset, UV Asset. And then in here you would choose what directory you want to save it to. And I have a few mapped, but... Uh, and then I would, for vendor name, I would set my vendor name. I'm Daz3D. And my product name and, and UVs usually go in the base folder. And so <clears throat> this one's pretty wide open with UVs. We don't get a lot of UV sets, so it doesn't matter that much. So you can just use base, no big deal. And then you check new, and then you hit accept. And then it writes it out. So next time I load my shirt, it is going to come in with new UVs or default UVs. Okay, so that's one way you can load it. You load it through the surfaces pane options. And the other option is, what if I want to replace the UVs that were on this shirt? So I didn't like these, or they don't exist, or whatever, for whatever reason, I want to replace them. I can go um, to Edit, Figure, Geometry, to Update Base Geometry. Now the default setting for this is just to change the positions of the vertices, but I actually want to update full geometry, and that will update grouping uh, the UVs, the positions of the vertices. So I load this in and let's say this is Daz Studio Scale. Hit accept and now you see it lost all the settings. I think that's just because it felt like it. Because when I apply it now I can see I updated my UVs and now all I've got is the bad UVs. Well my good UVs, right? So that's how I can replace the UVs. The The thing to pay attention to when you do this though is, like I said, it replaces the grouping, your face groups, okay, your surface groups, and since it's replacing those, you want to make sure that the new OBJ that you're loading in has all those already set up. The best way to do that is just to export out at Daz Studio Let's say I want to export an OBJ. You can go in here and choose Daz Studio from your from your drop-down options, and that will cause it to use existing groups and write the surfaces out. So that will already give you an OBJ that's good to start from. And then if you go into another application and work on the UVs and everything, hopefully the application that you use doesn't destroy your grouping. And then you bring this back in and that'll work. Now you have another option which I'm going to reload this All right, I have my shirt loaded and I'm going to load a new OBJ 
So I took this shirt out to another application, I export out to OBJ, went in another application, did the UV maps on it, and in the process, I lost all my face groups. So this OBJ would be a bad candidate for doing the update geometry, which I just showed you. I don't want to screw up on my face groups. I want to keep them the way they were. Well, all is not lost. You can use the transfer utility. So what I'll do is I'll launch transfer utility, either clicking on here or go to edit, figure transfer utility. And we'll set the source to be the Persian full top and the, U, the new OBJ that has my new UVs as the target. And then we'll go to show options and we will say replace source with target. Now right now, this is set up so these things will all transfer to the new OBJ. So face groups, region groups, all those things. Morph targets, if they were existing on this Persian full top and I do re replace source with target, with my new UVs, I hit accept. It is going to transfer everything across to it and again it clears out my textures but if I apply my textures to it you'll see it works and my face groups did not get destroyed because when I replaced source of target it ended up using the, the face groups that were on my original one and putting them on this OBJ when it did the replacement. So all was not lost, that was good and then this does mean I only have just the one UV set, right? Just like the update geometry did. And then I just need to save my shirt again. And then it'll save with the new geometry, new UVs, and everything will be hunky-dory. And that is how you can update UVs or replace UVs.